welcome, welcome, welcome to Stacy Fowler's creation. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, still welcome. I'm just happy you're here. So this is my playlist, how to teach your child to read quickly. Quickly is between three to four months. This time can be shortened if the child grasps information really quickly and you have more time to dedicate to these lessons. They're very easy. You don't need to be a teacher to follow them. If you're a parent who are looking for materials to homeschool your child, this is the right channel, especially when it comes on to reading and mathematics. I've got you. And if you're a teacher who's just looking for more fun ways to make sure that your students learn, I still got you. I'm a teacher too, and I wholeheartedly believe in putting the fun in education. And I've discovered some steps that makes learning easier, especially at the early childhood level. And I've decided to share them with everyone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Click on the subscribe button. And while you're doing it, click on the bell so you may be notified when I upload new videos. Now I am at my third and fourth diagraph. If you don't know what are diagraphs, please check out the playlist right now. That means you have missed some of the previous steps and you would need to watch them. You cannot skip any of the steps if you want to achieve the desired goal for your child. I had used this diagraph in previous videos, but I want to revisit it because it's actually my third diagraph. A and R make the sound R. A and R make the sound R. A and R make the sound R. So let's do that two more times. A and R make the sound R. A and R make the sound R. Now let's use that diagraph with a flashcard. So the word I like to start with first is the word car. So you would ask the child, what sound does the letter C makes? And the child would have to say, K. what sound A and R makes? R. Can you please put those sounds together and now pronounce what is this word? K R. When the child gets the word, then you have to congratulate the child. And your congratulations must be very exciting. Wow, you're so smart. How comes you're so smart? You're like the smartest kid I ever know. Wow, let's try this again. I want to see if you can do it again. So let's now move to my next word. This word is far. R. And it's the same process. You never make the sound of the letters. It's always a child who should do it. So after you teach a diagraph sound, the next is get your flashcards and let the child sound out words. If you need to make soft copy flashcards, check the description below. I've included the link that I use to make my soft copy flashcards and download them on my device. So as I said before, anything I do for myself, I'm willing to share with you. All I'm asking for you to do, subscribe to my channel, make sure you don't miss a notification when I upload a new video, so you need to click on the notification bell. Let me now go to my next card, which is the word bark. Bark, bark. And again, the congratulations comes in. Now, after you've gone through your flashcards, then we go to the next step of letting your child write. So if your child is not able to write, it's a good time to introduce the child to writing because at this step, the child will have to spell and also write sentences. 
So you give the child some of the words that you had used with the diagraph that you taught the child, as well as always advise that you do have some that you did not use on the flashcards so you can test the knowledge base of the child. After the child spells the words, then you give the child simple sentences. I try not to go over four words, very rare I go over four words, very simple sentences using back some of the diagraphs. Again, I've got you. You don't have to worry about that. Check the description below. I've included words that I use with this diagraph as well as sentences. So now let's go to our fourth diagraph that I use. And the fourth diagraph that I use is S and T. S and T make the sound st. S and T make the sound st, st, as in st, C, st, stay, C, and st, A, stay to this on this channel. Yeah. All right. So let's use that diagraph now. I really like to start with the word star because then I can really get that excitement of and you, I'm going to show you how. So you ask the child, what sound does S and T make? What sound A and R make are, and may I just interject here, by now I know it's clicking in that brain of yours, because I know you're smart, that the reason I have these as my third and fourth diagraph, you do see how they come together nicely, right? St R, right. And these are words you will see in reading books for children especially at the early childhood level and even at middle school. You see certain words a lot. So these diagraphs, as I said, very useful. If you follow my steps, definitely your child will be reading in the next three to four months. But by you look, that time just runs off. So just stick to the channel, get the lessons. Let's move to, oh, the excitement with this word. So how do I get excited using the, how do I get my students really excited using this word? Simple. Wow, you're a shiny star when it comes to pronouncing words. Oh my, let me try it again. I want to see how bright you can shine with these words. Can I try? Because you're really smart. Wow, look at my smart star. Let's do it again. Fun, right? Right, so let's move to the next one, which is start. So again, the child do the diagraphs and the letter that is there, the letter that is not a diagraph. Start. Congratulate the child as soon as the child finish pronouncing the word. And the next word that I will do with you is the word stop. 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 As soon as the child pronounces the word, the congratulation comes in. So the last word that I'm going to do with you. And this word is st -er. I have a little secret. Now I told you I love to share. So on this channel, I always try to give a little extra extra. So I told you initially that I'm doing the third and fourth diagraph that I use. I just had to include something extra in my video. So I decided to share my fifth diagraph with you. Woo! Okay, so you see why I say I have your back, stick to this channel. This diagraph is very important. Why? You do have two other diagraphs that make the exact sound this diagraph makes. I will be uploading videos teaching about those diagraphs, as well as how you can teach a child to differentiate between these diagraphs if you have not subscribed. And if you did not click on the notification bell, you will not be notified when these videos are uploaded. I do not want that to happen because this diagraph, as I said, has 
two other diagrams making the exact sound. Now the sound that I and R make is R. I and R make the sound 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 R. Now put the sounds together. Tell me what you get. St R. St R. Start up. So we're starting up some knowledge here. Right. So let's congratulate the child again. Every time the child pronounces a word, you have to congratulate the child. For me, I really love to do funny dances that will make them laugh. And they say, you look funny. I say, I know. This move only come in my body when I see really smart children. Do you think you're smart? And they always say, yes. I say, if you think you're smart, let's do it one more time. I want to see what other moves are in this body. And then they start to be so excited and want to continue. So you have to make your lessons fun. Now we are at the stage again where you will give spellings from the words you had used with the diagraph and also words that you did not include on your flashcards. After the spellings, the short sentences, you also let the child read back the sentences to you, right? And when they do, their face is going to be lit up with so much joy. So they say, wow, I can't believe I'm reading. I say, wow, I know. I told you you were smart. We just need to do it some more for you to see how really smart you are. See how great that is? All right. So, so good so far. Now, I do need your help a bit, right? Actually, I, that was just being like really modest. I'm begging, please, pretty please, please. All right, I told you I love to put the fun in education. So I've created a fun educational fairy tale. It has to do with the importance of the alphabet, as well as there's a little about pronouns and nouns in it. It's available on Amazon. And I'm begging you, please, the link is in the description. Please support my work. Please go on Amazon and get a copy of this book. When you do, rate the book. And of course, come back to this channel. Whenever I publish new books, you will be aware. And of course, one day, you may even win free books from me. You see how many benefits there are to be a subscriber on this channel? I wrote this book and illustrated it on, on my own. So when I do new books, which... Trust me, I have a lot in store to come. So make sure you click on subscribe so you don't miss anything that I'm going to do on this channel. It has come to the time where I'm going to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming to my channel to watch this video to the end. And I do hope that you found the information very informative, so informative that you're now going to apply it in lessons for your child. And when you do, of course, I want to hear about it. So come back here, comment on the video that you have watched. Let me know how the child reacted. Did you let your inner child come out? And of course, I know you're gonna have fun when you do it, so make sure you do it. Please, I can't say it enough, subscribe. When you're subscribing, click on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Until next time, I know you, I'm gonna see you soon. Welcome to the family. I love you. Bye-bye.